Hey guys, it's Mrs. Hutch here to help you with some more IXL. Um, the IXL I'm going to work on today is order topics from broadest to narrowest under writing strategies. It's J1. Um, I was helping with some people with this one before break and they were struggling a little bit. So I thought it'd be a good one to look at. So basically something that's narrow is more specific. Something that's broad covers more pieces of information. So when I look at these three things, the importance of donating to an animal rights charity, the importance of donating to charities, and the importance of generosity. Well, generosity can be more than just donating to charities. So that's pretty broad. When I compare these two, this one is saying specifically, this is a way you could be de generous, is donating to this charity. This one says, you should, like the importance of donating to this specific type of charity. So that's the most narrow, that's the most specific, okay? The impact of technology on society, the impact of smartphones on teenagers, the impact of technology on teenagers. Technology includes lots and lots of different things and society includes everybody. So those are pretty broad things. This is still technology, but it's only the impact on teenagers. So I'm out, Parker's out, Mr. Hutch is out, Mr. Forness is out, um, but you are probably in or close to being in, okay? The impact of smartphones on teenagers. Smartphones is more specific because it names a specific type of technology. Agricultural technology ex exhibitions at state fairs. Wow, that's really specific. It's talking about a specific type of exhibition and at a specific place. Um, milking machine demonstrations at take state fairs. Well, milking machines are a type of agricultural technology, so I didn't think I could get more specific, but it did. Attractions at state fairs is pretty broad. There's lots of different attractions and things to do at state fairs. So that's our most broad, then agricultural technology ex exhibitions at state fairs. But then it gets more specific by saying a specific type of agricultural technology. The effects of rising sea levels in Venice, Italy. The effects of rising sea levels in coastal Europe the effects of rising sea levels around the globe. So all of these are the effects of rising sea levels. We just have to put the places from biggest to smallest. So around the globe would be the biggest because that's the whole planet. Coastal Europe includes some places, on, you know, in places like France or Spain. And then Venice, Italy is a specific spot on coastal Europe that is affected by rising sea levels. The benefits of sports teams, building confidence through sports teams, the benefits of physical activity. Ooh, this one's kind of tough because I don't even see how this one kind of fits, but I'm going to say this is the most broad because physical activity can be anything. It can be me out for a walk. It can be Parker playing t-ball on her t-ball team. The benefits of team sports gets a little bit more specific. We've still got physical activity, but now it's through team sports. And then building confidence is a specific benefit and through team sports. Famous mountain climbers ascents of Mount Everest in Nepal. Famous mount cl mountain climbers ascents of the world's tallest mountains. Edmund Hillary's ascent of Nepal's Mount Everest in 1953. So this one's going to be our most broad because it includes multiple mountains. Okay. This one includes just one specific mountain. So Mount Everest in Nepal. Lots of people have tried to climb Mount Everest though. And this is one specific mountain climber's ascent of Mount Everest at a specific date. So that was more specific. The character of Velvet Brown in National Velvet, 
characters in the novel that National Velvet, Velvet Brown's determination in National Velvet. Okay, so this is all of the characters, so that's going to be our most broad. This is the specific character, and then it gets even more specific by saying this character's determination. So instead of looking at the whole character in National Velvet, just looking at Velvet Brown's determination in National Velvet. Proper breaststroke technique. Proper kicking for the breaststroke. Proper, proper swimming technique. Breaststroke is Grace's least favorite, mainly because of the kicking. So proper swimming technique, because there's four different types of strokes. So swimming technique refers to all four. This refers to the specific stroke. And then this refers to not just the specific stroke, but I think it's called dolphin kick that you're supposed to do. So the proper kicking for that stroke, because your hands and your legs, or your arms and your legs are doing two different things. So that's more specific, where this could be looking at both the arms and the legs. Pros and cons of school uniforms, pros and cons of uniforms for middle school students, pros and cons of dress school dress codes. Well, school dress codes, our school has a dress code. So we don't wear uniforms, but it still has a dress code. That's pretty broad. Pros and cons of school uniforms, then, is looking at that specific type of dress code. Pros and cons of uniforms for middle school students. So talking about that group specifically. So we've got uniforms and middle school students. Bluebirds migration through the Mississippi River flyaway, migrating wildlife in the Mississippi River area, birds that migrate through the Mississippi River area. So this is going to be our most broad because more than just birds, it could be anything. It could be deer. I don't know. Um, migrating wildlife in the Mississippi Air River area. This is talking about birds then which we know like eagles, hawks, birds like that also migrate along that Mississippi River area. And then this is looking at a specific type of bird in a specific part of the Mississippi, Mississippi River area. So that's the most specific. Comparison of the superheroes Captain America and Batman. Now, Captain America is definitely a superhero because he's a super soldier. Batman's just a rich dude, but we'll just call him a superhero for now because he's a hero. He's just not a superhero in my opinion, but whatever. So comic book superheroes. Differences in Captain America and America's and Batman's origin stories. Comparison of the superheroes, Captain America and Batman. So this could be anybody. Comic book superheroes it include, could include Thor, who's my favorite. Um, comparison of the superheroes, Captain America and Batman, is just comparing them, you know, and probably everything that they've done and what they can and can't do. And then differences in Captain America's and Batman's origin stories. Um, which is just comparing a specific part of their story. The 1883 eruption of the volcano Krakatoa. Temperature drops in Europe due to Krakatoa's eruption. The effect of Krakatoa's eruption on global temperatures. So this is just all about the eruption. So that's going to be the broadest thing, even though it has a specific date. The um, effects of Krakatoa's eruption on global temperatures would look at the whole world and see how it affected the whole world. Temperature drops in Europe due to Krakatoa's eruption. This is telling us specifically what happened and where. So that's the most narrow. Do one more. 20th century American folk music. Nature imagery in Woody Guthrie's This Land is Your Land. Nature imagery in 20th century American folk music. So this is 20th century American folk music is the most broad. It covers all of the folk music. 
this is in the middle because it's all the music, but just looking at the nature imagery in it. And then this is the nature imagery in this specific song. So hopefully this helped you to kind of figure out the difference between something that is broad or big and narrow, or which is specific. The more detailed it is, the more specific it is, it's narrower. Okay? Talk to you soon.